here at the Texas Instruments here at the Embedded World showing off the Smart Factory Industry 4.0. Hello, so who are you? Hello, my name is Frank Walzer. I'm from our industrial application team and I'm going to explain to you the Industrial Industry 4.0 wall where we show different products from Texas Instruments starting with some of the analog components that we have for temperature measurement. What is this one? Uh, this is a, a 4 to 20 milliamp sensor connecting to an EtherCAD gateway. Uh, here we have a, a, a temperature and humidity sensor. It has also 40 to 20 milliamp but also a Bluetooth interface. Then we have other industrial sensors that are connecting through IO-Link, which is another standard in the industrial communication area. What are we looking at here? What is this one, sorry? This is the PLC. That's uh, collecting the data through the EtherCAD interface. It's running a Codesys PLC software. What is this chip? Yeah, the chip is the AM5728. It's, it's the uh, dual Cortex A15 microprocessor running at up to 1.5 gigahertz. So very high performance. And that's the uh, uh, very popular choice in the industry? Yes, now it, it runs Linux and you can implement the complete PLC on top of that. So here we run the Directly it drives the HDMI monitor and the graphics and as I said it's collecting the data and showing them here in a graphical representation. On All the right. other side we can control our motors yeah. uh, using the C2000 and the AMIG 110 parts to again interface with EtherCAD and then drive a brushless DC motor uh, directly using our new uh, driver technology uh, uh, gallium asinite. You have gallium arsenide to do what? Uh, it's, a, it's an efficient, high-performance driver chip uh, with this special technology that you can't do in, in, in silicon semiconductors. So is the next thing after silicon is going to be the gallium uh, for, valley? For certain areas, yes, I would say so. But uh, for any kind of chip or so, no, only no, some kind of chip? No, it doesn't apply to everything. Some, some chip. Yeah, specific. Right. And here we have a, what we call a solver and encoder interface. And again, we use the C2000 DSP to encode the data, send it to three EtherCAD, and it's shown over here on the display. So if I turn that, okay. Cool. So that's the industry 4.0. It means, uh, what does it mean? It means <coughs> it's higher integration? Uh, no, it's communication in the industry world now. And it's an, um, a new approach to bring the data together into the uh, technology in the cloud and in, into a higher environment, not just in the single machine, but factory and then higher in the whole ecosystem of the customers. Cool. And what else are you showing around here at the booth? Can we so, go over there? Yes, yeah, sure. Let's, Let's go, go over there. there. Let's go to the okay. power management. Let's check it out. Hi, so who are you? <laughs> Martina, hi. Okay. Um, and uh, can we change yeah. this? Sorry. Let's, let me go around here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go around here. So here we're looking at uh, some power management. Sorry, I jump in. Hey. Uh, can, can you show what is going uh, on here? Yeah, I'm not so familiar with this because this is not my demo, but I can um, yeah. tell you a um, good reason of this. Okay. So um, this is a, a bug controller. Uh, input voltage is 12 volt. Output voltage here is 1 volt. Um, here you can see this controller has four phases. Uh, we have here active phase shading, means um, for the minimum output load, just one phase is active, and for the maximum output load, um, all four phases are active. So, this is a special uh, way to do power control or power management, or what is it? Yeah, this is a um, bug controller um, with an integrated power management bus. Um, the maximum current here is 120 ampere. What you see here is a load step um, between 10 ampere and um, 60 ampere. And the green output voltage here um, shows um, the voltage deviation during a load step. All right. 10 um, to 60 ampere. Cool. Hmm. So is a TI a uh, leader in this kind of a uh, field uh, to do all kinds of power management as TI is a leader? Yes. Power management IC, right? Yes. It's everywhere. It's everything. Yeah. It's in, the, it's in laptops. Um, power management is everywhere. And uh, this is the next gen or special way to do power management? Um, yeah, this is a special way. Um, but we, our group, are developing a lot of power supplies 
for all application segments. All right. Cool. Okay. okay. Thanks a lot. Good. Yeah, you're Thanks. Welcome. I'm going to check uh, around here. What's going on with the simple link? And then we kind of go to the higher end. Uh, simple link right here. Uh, sorry, I'm just jumping in. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, okay, so right here, yeah. And then I'll, I'll go around here. I'm just checking here, there's a special display. And then I'm gonna go, go around here. There's the whole Many here's on the rest of the film. Hey, can we ask you what's going on here? Not just now. Okay. Okay. Right here, a whole bunch of boards. But I'm gonna go check, check them out at the Beagle. Lots of different boards right here. MSP 430. Okay. Okay. And then I'll go right here. It's also single chain. Hey, how are you? Can, can I ask you about this? Sure. All right. So we here at the. This is single. What, what, what are we looking at here? Well, that is signal chain, and we have some demos here which are mainly around inductive sensing. So, uh, s sensors? Sensors, well, we, we don't do a lot of sensors. We do a lot of sensing. So, sensor would, would mean that uh, you have something which measures a physical effect directly. <laughs> All right. Uh, like we have, for example, the sensor. So, no. this one here. Yeah. That's a little IC which senses humidity and temperature. That is what I would call a sensor. Now, this is more sensing. So it senses a rotational movement. All right. Or it senses events that these fans here pass by. Or it senses this position. Now, this is a sensor because uh, this, this is also part of the sensor. All right. So you do IC. It's all about IC, right? It's all about ICs, yes. And uh, there's a lot of it from TI in the world, everywhere. Yes. It's in everything, and it's enabling all these sensors. If you're not doing the sensor, you're enabling it. You're doing we are, all the we are, we are, we are We are measuring what comes out of the sensor, and uh, we provide that to the, to the computer. Cool.